Africa is more than risk. Africa is all about opportunities as well. But Africa has the least, one of the lowest in terms of default on loans from 2000, um, uh, uh, I think it's 2003, even up till now. It's not just about risk. It's all about passive risk. Africa's passive risk is quite high for some reason. You find that those that have been investing in Africa who know Africa don't feel the risk-risk culture that people talk about. They see the opportunities, they know that there's no risk-free environment. Africa is no different from any part of the world. I'm just delighted that you are here on the continent where the opportunities are, on the continent where the projects are, where sometimes the capital is quite restricted. But I think your capital will meet opportunity. We have a very positive view, obviously, of not just Nigeria, but of the continent. I know there's all the concerns about growth slowing down, you know, South Africa, Nigeria versus the United States, but I see that as a buying opportunity. Our key areas of focus are agriculture, healthcare, toll roads, power, and gas industrialization. Because the reason why Africa has struggled is because market infrastructure is deficient in some places, and therefore trust does not exist. So we have to work on building trust, we have to work on fixing the market infrastructure. We have very much of a mandate to drive investment into this continent. Um, and not only did we get $60 billion in focus, um, but we, we got the ability to invest in equity. Uh, we didn't have that before. Uh, the uh, significant amount of flexibility to invest in technical assistance. Um, and so I think what you'll see is our focus more and more on the continent. Standard Bank has a very clear purpose, which is to drive Africa's growth. Africa is, is the center of gravity for us. And um, when we look at Africa's um, growth rates, medium term growth rates, about 3.5%, and that masks um, you know, higher performing economies um, like Ethiopia, Ghana, um, Cote d'Ivoire, who are 7% and, and, and above. Um, we believe that um, our organization is rightly placed um, to support economic activity on the continent. And um, we really are excited to be part of what um, um, the African Development Bank is doing. Within the U.S. capital markets, it's a $4 trillion market that understands infrastructure, understands credit, but what they do not understand is the emerging markets, or as we like to call them, growth markets. For a long time, the narrative has been developmental growth, right? We focus on the risk. Instead, our narrative is, let's talk about the returns, right? We understand risk, let us manage that. Mm -hmm. And we're trusted to manage the risk. So we can then steer the conversation to the areas that they really care about, which is, what is the return? Yep. and what is the return profile that, that's available to them. How can we say that we've done our fiduciary duty if we have ignored an entire continent? If you're not doing something different, by definition you're going to be average, and none of us want to be average. So, you know, I have viewed this opportunity as that, quote unquote, something different. An investment is more than due diligence, it's trust. It's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help, so help me Africa, mm. uh, in this case. My Rwandan friends describe Switzerland as the Rwanda of Europe. So pick the right countries first and uh, that de-risks the political situation.